testifying in his son's autopsy. Pasadena police shot and killed the unarmed teenager in a highly controversial shooting. KKLI's Amanda Burden is live at Pasadena Police Headquarters with the coroner's report and the family's reaction to it. Amanda. Sharon, Pasadena police requested the release of this autopsy report for their investigation. Meantime tonight, only on 9, the father of Kendrick McDade reacts to the details of his son's death. Seven gunshot wounds, three fatal, none to the back. Those are the results of the just-released autopsy of Kendrick McDade, the 19-year-old shot and killed by Pasadena police in March. McDade's father says seeing the autopsy report is like reliving his son's death. Pictures just pop in your head that you don't even want to, you don't even want to see, and it just it turns your stomach. According to the coroner's findings, three of the gunshot wounds, two in the abdomen, one in the upper arm, were fatal because they severed major arteries. In a statement, Pasadena Deputy Police Chief Daryl Qualls says, quote, the autopsy showed there were no gunshot wounds to the back. The McDade family attorney, Carrie Harper, doesn't buy it. When you say that bullet three that entered the rear depicted here on the back side is not the back of my client, that is a lie. McDade was hit in the back of the arms, but police say that's because he was running, pumping his arms, which caused the bullets to enter his body from behind. Harper believes it was intentional. The trajectory of the bullets were going downward. That means Kendrick was either getting shot as he was falling or shot on the ground. On March 24th, officers responded to a 911 call that McDade had robbed a taco truck at gunpoint. Police say an officer fired as McDade approached a cruiser while reaching for his waistband. The teenager was unarmed. Of the autopsy, Qualls says, quote, I think the report is welcome and speaks for itself and is an aid to others to complete a thorough investigation. I want them two officers to go to jail, lose their job, and lose just like we lost. And the family is suing Pasadena police. Tonight they told me they're upset that McDade didn't get medical attention fast enough. They said he was lying on the ground, handcuffed, bleeding out, but police say that's simply not true. Live in Pasadena, Amanda Burden, KCAL 9 News.